My name is Stefan Eriksson, and today we're going to be looking at the replace command along with the differences between a string and numeric variable in Stata and see how they're treated differently using replace as an example command. And in order to show my examples today, I'll be making use of one of Stata's example datasets that is installed with Stata. To access it, go to File, down to Example Datasets, click on the Example Datasets installed with Stata, and I'll be using the Auto Dataset as we see here. Simply by clicking Use, I now have loaded this dataset into Stata. The first thing we can do is simply just go and look at the dataset and see what we're dealing with. And now we quickly get a look at seeing, hey, Stata marks something with red, something with black, and something with blue. Notice first everything that is marked with red is indicating a string variable. A string is simply words or characters or something that should be written as or written as letters or read as letters or simply treated not as numbers essentially. That's one way of putting it at least. You can of course also see it here if you happen to be colorblind, simply just go over here and see str18. str indicates a string of various types. And if we go for instance to one of the black ones here, we will see here that it's an integer for the example of miles per gallon. For headroom, it's a float. And for the domestic and foreign over here, for instance, is just a byte. But then you might think, hey, this is blue. But wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, don't worry about it. It's only blue because a value label has been attached to it. The type byte indicates again, that's just a type of numeric. When you have integer, byte, float, or something else like that, or double, for instance, then they're all just different types of numeric variables. Now, let's look and see how Stata will treat each of them using replace as an example. For instance, suppose I want to, in a new variable I generate, so I use generate, high price as an example, call a high price equal to zero, and now I want to replace the high price equal to one if the price is above a certain value. So in this example here, I see the price, if it's above 6,000, it will replace all my zeros with a one. It makes 23 changes. And this here is how the operation would just look on a numeric variable, which is, well, there's nothing tricky here. We can look at the data and see that a high price has been generated here with value one if the price is above that certain value, which will be 6,000 in this case. This, however, becomes a little different when I look at a string variable and wants to deal with that. So look here, I can look down to make. And for instance, if I for some reason want to change the name Volvo 260 with, for instance, just some car, just as an example name, I would have to do it in the following way. I, of course, would use the replace command, which is my example here. I'll replace the make equal to, and I want to call it some car. Notice first here, I put quotation marks around it. That is one very important syntax difference between strings and numeric variables in Stata. We put quotation marks around because now we're dealing with a string. So this is to tell Stata this is to be read as a string or characters. So we replace the make equal to some car if, and then we have the following condition, if the make is equals to, and then it will be the Volvo 260. Again, the quotation marks around because we're dealing with a string variable. However, notice one more thing. Now, first, let's run the command. It indeed says one change has been made. But notice the difference between one equals two and two equals two. When I am assigning a value in Stata, for instance, I'm assigning the make equals some car, then I use one. If I'm testing a logical equivalence or a logical statement, you will call it, we use two. So see here, I'm assigning some car to make if this logical equivalence holds true. Otherwise, I don't do anything. That's how you would treat, treat this if it was a string variable. And then, of course, we can open the data set here again and see, indeed, some car is now the new label here instead of Volvo 260. And that shows here for today a quick overview of how you would treat a string variable versus numeric when it comes to replacing values. My name is Stefan Eriksson, and I wish you all a good day.